Good morning! How are you today, my lovely students? I hope you're doing well. Listen carefully. Today, we have a new lesson. And someone will help me today. Later on, I'm going to tell you who is he. But before talking about our lesson and who will help me today, let's read the day and date. I really need your help to read the day and date. So who's going to help me to read the day and date? Me. Okay. So everyone, yesterday was Tuesday. So what day comes after Tuesday? Wednesday. Great. And let's move to the date. Yesterday was 28. So what number comes after 28? Mm, 29. Well done. So everyone, I want you to get your grammar booklet because our lesson today will be about grammar. And please write the day and date before you start. Everyone, in the previous weeks, we have learned about simple present tense and simple past tense. And today, we are going to learn about simple future tense. So, what does this mean? So, everyone, let's revise or let me say something else. I want you to use your background knowledge to remember the things that we have learned in the previous weeks about simple present tense. What does simple present tense mean? We use the simple present tense to talk about our daily routine, habits, or facts. Can you give me an example? Yes. Go ahead. She eats an apple every day. Well done. So now let's move to talk about simple past tense. So everyone, what do you know about simple past tense? I want you to use your background knowledge because we have learned about this before. We use simple past tense to talk about something that already happened. Can you give me an example? Of course. She ate an apple yesterday. Well done. And what does simple future tense mean? Mm, I don't know. Can you explain it to me? Okay. Today, everyone, we are going to learn about simple future tense. And I told you so far that someone will help me today. Who is he? He is Mr. Robot. He's going to help me today. So let's say hi to him. Hi. Hello, my friends. I am Mr. Robot. And Miss Mona invited me from the future. And I will tell you how technology will help us, will help make our life easier in the future. So you can ask me any question about technology in the future. Hello, Mr. Robert. I am very happy because you came from the future to talk about the things, especially the technology and how the technology will be changed in the future. So can you give me some examples? Of course, cars will be able to fly. Motorbikes will be super fast. Airplanes will be much bigger and you might be able to see a pool. Trains will not have more any more rails. So everyone, have you noticed that when Mr. Robot talks about the future, he uses, well, he said cars will fly. He said motorbikes will be fast and airplanes will be so big and trains will have no rails. 
he was using well all the time so everyone when you want to talk about something that will happen in the future you need to use well right mr robot of course you always need to use well when you are talking about the future tense thank you mr robot for helping me today my pleasure miss mona so everyone today or by the end of the lesson let me say you will be able to identify simple future tense verbs and also you can write sentences using simple future tense verbs and everyone here are two videos about the lesson of today i want you to watch the two videos so Click on the link below or copy and paste it in your browser and watch the introduction video about simple future tense. Or if you're watching the video, you can go to the description below and click on the link. Remember, the other or the second link will ask you about your weekend. And remember, one day left for weekend. So after watching the video, we got to know that the word future means that something is going to happen in a time that is not yet here, such as tomorrow, after tomorrow, next week, next month, next year. So if you want to talk about something that will happen in a time that is not yet here, you are going to use the simple future tense and remember to use well because well or the word well will help you to show that you are talking about something that will happen in the future so everyone the future tense is what you use when you are going to talk about things that have not happened yet but will happen some time. So let's read what's written over here. Sally is seven years old now. Last year she was six. Next year she will be eight. So Sally is talking about her age in this year and she said that she's seven years old now. And here she talked about her age in the last year. And she said she was six years old. And in the final one, Sally talked about her age next year. And she will be eight years old. So everyone, I need your help to write an action or something that you are planning to do tomorrow, after tomorrow, um, next month, next week. So, I'm going to write about what I am going to do next week. I will read a book next week. So, tell me what are you planning to do in your weekend. So, everyone, let's read what's written over here. Tenses of the verbs. Do you remember what does a verb mean? Verb means when you are doing something like running. It's called an action. Can you give me more examples? Of course. Eating, r um, jumping, playing, crying, shouting, eating, and so on. So everyone, here, let's... C, or I want you to notice that we have three tenses. So everyone, we are going to talk about the verb and how the verb will be changed in each tense. So in the past, we are going to add ED to the verb. Do you remember Uncle Ed? He helped us before. And he told us to add ed 
to the verb when we talk about something that happened in the past and when we talk about something that happens right now we're gonna add to the verb s in the case that she he or it come before the verb or we are we are gonna add nothing if the verb comes after they you we and I and in the future we are gonna add well before the verb okay everyone so we are gonna add well before the verb so let's read the sentences together everyone let's read the sentence here this sentence in the past or in the simple past tense Sam played blocks. So, the action is done in the past. Let's read the second one. The children play. The action happens today or every day. Let's move to the last one. She will play with her doll. The action will be done in the future. So a future tense verb tells an action that will happen in the future. The word will goes before the verb to make it in the future tense. This is very important everyone. The word will okay, goes before the verb to make it in the future tense. So let's read the sentence together. Eric will rake the leaves tomorrow. So as you can see everyone well is here and it comes before the verb okay and here we go let me read what you are going to do listen carefully to my instructions so are you ready yes okay let's get started what would you like to do circle five things from the list below then write sentences to tell what will you like to do. Remember to use future tense verb. It means you are going to add well before the verb. Right, everyone? Okay, so I want you to choose five things. Okay, what do you want to choose? win a contest okay so what you're going to say about this i will win a contest tomorrow great swim swim with sharks uh oh are you sure that you're going to swim with the sharks mm. hmm i think it's dangerous so i don't think i'll choose to swim with Sharks. Okay, so play in a band. So can you put it in a sentence? I will play in a band next year. Okay. Three more. Learn to bake. Mm -hmm. I will learn to bake tomorrow at the afternoon. Okay. One, two, three, two more. Go on safari. Okay. I will go on safari with all of my friends when I go back to school. Okay. One more. Fly an aeroplane. I want to fly an aeroplane. You have to use will before the verb. Oh. I forgot. I will fly an airplane after coronavirus finishes. So remember everyone, when you write your sentences, please start with a capital letter and end your sentence with a period. So on the following slides, you will find two. Well, so we 
use the word well to show that there is something we are going to do in the future. So, you will find two different tasks. You can choose to complete task 1 or task 2. So, here we go. Task number 1. So, let's do it together. I want you to get your grammar booklet because we are going to use it and to open page 62. What you are going to do is to complete section A. Here is the page number. Please write the day and date. So let's read the first one. Ling and Mia dash at school next week. So everyone, what we are going to do is to add the word that will show this action will happen in the future so what is the word that we are going to add it before the verb will excellent well done so we're going to say Lang and mia will help at school next week okay so i want you to complete this by yourself what you are going to do is to add well before the verb you're gonna add well before the verb for example let me show you the first one here let me write okay so mia or Leng and mia will help Okay, everyone, at school next week. So one more time, what you are going to do is to add well before the verb. Okay, and here's task number two. What you are going to do is to complete section B from page 62 of your grammar booklet. So write one future tense verb from task one in a new sentence. So everyone, what you are going to do is to write a new sentence using one future tense verb from task one finally i want you everyone to unscramble the following sentence mecca year family my and travel well to next so let's everyone try to fix this sentence. Okay, everyone. So what is the first word I can put? Look at the word that starts with the capital letter. My. My. Family. Well done, my. Family, sorry, well, well, travel, to, uh oh, double F, travel, to, Mecca, next, year next year so let's read it together my family okay let's cross this so my family family will well travel okay to mecca next year and here we go I am Mr. Robot, and before I go and say goodbye, I want you to upload a picture of you completing your work and upload it on Class Dojo. Thank you and goodbye. Thank you, Mr. Robot. Have a nice day. So, are you going back to the future? Of course. I hope I see you in the future or meet you. Okay, bye. Have a great day, everyone.